at the end of the class this is one of the project you're just going to create together using the data we have in our power pivot which we have actually create relationship in so we're going to use both measures and calculated column to do this not just default excel you know functions and formulas so we're going to actually create a calculated column for this i'm going to walk you through how to get this calculated right now it's actually you know a uh, very interactive it responds to the filter you actually have right on it so now let's get on it i just don't like talking so here we are on our power pivot so as you can see this is not on the right date format. I would like to go right here now. I'm gonna go down to here and I'm gonna click on this to actually make sure we have the date on the right format. So you, if things are not really cool with you, you can actually always open it up to make sure you see what is sitting on a particular column the way it should be. So talking about the calculated column right now, this is where your calculated column comes. And if you want to write measure, this is where you start writing your measure. To start with, we're going to start with the calculated column. And let us look at where we have the customer table. So here we have a customer table. I'm going to illustrate to you what calculated column is right here on the customer table. On the customer table, if you look at it, we have a particular column that is called date. So you can expand it out a little bit. And I've told you, make sure you format this something shorter. Now this is exactly what is sitting on this particular customer table here. So in this customer table, we have the date of birth of every single customers we have. So what we want to do right now is to make sure we try as much as we could to know how old are our customers. This is not what is possible uh, with measures, it's all possible with, you know, calculated column. And that is what I'm going to show you. After doing this, we're going to actually uh, group them in different buckets. So let's do that. So the first thing you do when you want to do this is to try to know what is the name of your column that you want to use to actually get this particular new column you want to insert. So coming right here, make sure you click on this empty column right here. So now we're going to come here and type in our equal to and we're gonna use a function called date. Once you just type in date, it's gonna give you all the function that has to do with date. So now you can see we have date diff. Date diff now is gonna actually help you to differentiate between, okay, to actually calculate something between two dates. Now, what you want to do now is just a simple arithmetic you do using your phone calculator or normal calculator. You wanna check how old you are. Maybe uh, your date of birth is 1999. So you have to subtract 2000 from 1999 to get your age if we are in the year 2000. Now that we are in the year 2023, you are gonna subtract 2023 from 1999 or whatever. So now we're gonna do that right here as well. So top key to actually commit this. And now it gives you this. So this, you have to pay attention to this intelligence we have right here, date one, day two, and interval. So for date one here, I'm gonna go right, right to this word. So you can decide to select it just like this, and it's gonna insert it for you straight up. So if you can see the column and you want to actually write it, you have to remember what is sitting inside the column. That is birthday. As soon as I start typing birthday, it gives me the column that contains birthday inside this particular customer table. So tap key to actually commit it. And you have your comma, pay attention. Now it's asking you what is the second uh, date that you want to actually you know, find the difference with. And the second date is gonna be today function today function actually takes the date we have on our pc or on our system to actually run the difference for us so i'm going to go right here and type in today and you know today function but in excel worksheet would return the current date and the current you know time whatever so now we've done this we still have one more to go it's not optional you have to impute it else it's not going to work so put in that comma again so it's asking you for the interval the interval could be days could be hours, minutes, months, quarters, second, week, or year. So right now, let us look at it on a yellow basis. So I'm gonna type in year here, and that is all. So you can actually go ahead and close this and hit your enter key. So let us go back here and see what we have. So you can rename this one to customer, customer age. So here is our customer age. 
So I want to copy this here to just play around with it and see what it is that we have. If I make a change to something, uh, to another interval, I've just copied it. So I'm going to click on this next column here and I'm going to have to paste this one in here. So this time around, I'm going to move my year away. So I have to go with my month. So I close it. If I hit my enter. So I'm going to name this one customer H2, uh, customer month, uh, yeah, month. Customer month. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you what the difference is. Uh, I want to add one to just illustrate to you what we are trying to get right here. Oh, what do we have? Okay, we might have gotten something like that. I don't know. So we just have to just see month. So see for customer. So we have gotten see month right there. If I click on this one now and go ahead and paste in this one here, and this time I'm going to move this away. And I want to find, uh, let's say we want to see this by how many weeks this customer or how many hours has this customer spent on art. So we can just go with this. It's just to illustrate to you what this function can do and what calculated column is. So here we have it. So here now we need to actually make sure we format this to a normal number and take off the extra decimal for we to be able to see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, nicely done. So if you look at it right now, this customer is actually 20, you know, three years old. This customer is 60 years old, 16, 50, eight years old. If you want to know that right now, what you can do is just to come right here. Now, so here, this customer in column, in, uh, in this particular column here, in the uh, row four is 1965. So if you want to know 1965, if you want to know if this is correct, it's giving you 58, you can always go to your calculator and type in uh, the current year we are, we are right now, or you can actually run it on your, it depends on when you actually pick this course. So I'm going to say 20, uh, 23 here, subtracted from 1960 what? We just have to be sure of what we are getting to. Okay, that is going to be 1965. So we go back here, 19. Six five, so it gives us fifty eight years, right? So if I come back here now, it's giving me fifty eight years. So which means this particular customer had spent six hundred ninety five months on this planet. And let us look at how many, you know, if we click on this one now, how many hours has this particular customer spent on that? That is over, you know, of five hundred seven thousand eight hundred eighty eight, you know hours on this planet so you can see what calculated column can do and what dax can do this is just a simple dax on how to add calculated column uh, actually we are not actually interested in this i just want to show you and as well show you again how to actually remove any of those particular columns you've created that you don't want so we don't want this i'm going to go ahead and remove it so what you can do now is to delete column and click on years and that actually get the column all for you so get rid of this, delete column, and we we'll click on years. So we want to further create another column from this particular column, uh, column right here, where we actually create each you know buckets for our customers to know which particular each bucket is you know giving us the you know uh, making us to have the uh, uh, the desired sales in every month, profit, and you know uh, giving off giving us more revenue. So you've just seen how to add calculated column right now. This is just one example. We're going to be doing many examples for you to just get the idea of what calculated column is. It has no different with the one we have in Power BI. This is just how it goes.